We all talk about it. But how many of us really do it? Of course, I'm talking about backing up our stuff. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and you are watching DIY in 5. And in today's episode, we'll show you some very easy methods to back up your PC. We'll cover everything from backing up files to copying your whole hard drive. Here we go! The first option we'll go over is Windows preferred method for backing up files. It will back up everything in your user account library and is integrated right into Windows 8 and 10. To get there, go to Start Menu, Settings, Update and Security, and click Backup. Make sure you have a spare drive plugged in that's big enough to hold all of your files. Just click on Add a Drive and select the one you want to use. Here you can also click on Backup option and set schedules and change backup folders for even more security. Another way to backup files is through Backup and Restore. Backup and Restore has been around since Windows 7 and is a more robust version of the file history method. This will copy the libraries and personal folders for all the users on the system. If you have a shared family computer, this might be the way to go. Just go to the Cortana search and type Backup and Restore. Once again, make sure you have a drive plugged in that's big enough to hold all your files. Windows also allows you to schedule when backups occur. This is great, so you don't have to think about manually doing it. What if you want to go one step beyond backup and restore? A system image will take a snapshot of your operating system, programs, data files, etc., and save it into a single large file in case of disaster. It's not necessary to do this all the time, but a few times a year is recommended. We'll go back into Cortana, type Backup and Restore, and click on Create a System Image on the left side of the screen. Choose the location to save it to and hit Next. Once you're done, it will ask if you want to create a system repair disk. It's always a good idea to make one if you don't have an original software disk handy. You can also back up your data via OneDrive. We've talked about OneDrive in a past episode as a way to access files between your PC and phone, but it's also a great backup solution. If you have the basic plan, you can back up five gigabytes to the cloud for free. For about $2 a month, you can get 50 gigabytes. OneDrive is also nice because it's an instant backup if you're connected to the internet. Just make sure you're saving to your connected folders. This isn't nearly as robust as the last few options, but it's a very simple solution. Okay. The last tip might be what most people think of when we hear the word backup. Cloning your drive is just creating a copy of your hard drive onto a new hard drive. If you've replaced your hard drive with one of our SSDs, then you might have done this. We provide Acronis software as part of the SSD bundle packs. Generally, the cloning option requires purchasing a separate program, so keep that in mind when considering backup options. Now that you've got all those vacation pics, old term papers, game save data files, and hours upon hours of your favorite jams all backed up, it's time to take a deep breath, relax, and compute away worry-free. One of the things you can do is check out these other great DIY videos and subscribe to this channel so you know each time a new video is released. Let us know what DIY videos you'd like to see in the future and make sure to like and share. My name's Trisha Hirschberger and I'll see you next time.